The third value is level equals multiple. And this implements the tumbler. You may have seen this in either military or uh, legal publishing where you have 1.2.3.4 or 1.7.13.6. Uh, you've got some counter going on at multiple levels of the tree, hence the name multiple. And I would, or I, I use, or we use, a union pattern to indicate all of the things that are being counted. But, in, uh, but the processor looking up the ancestry will do this count at every part of the ancestry that has one of the items being counted. It will then do a level equals single at that level for all of the things being counted. So this is where I would be, if I'm counting chapters, sections, and subjects for each of chapters, sections, not subjects, excuse me, subsections, chapters, sections, and subsections, then when I hit chapter 1, I get a 1. When I hit section 1 in chapter 1, XSL number returns a 1.1 because there aren't any subsections at this level. Down at the subsection level, it looks up the ancestry and it sees chapters and sections, so it does chapter 1, section 1, subsection 1. When I get to a new section, it's counting the section, that's number 2, a new subsection restarts at 1. So 1.2.1 for this subsection. I go up to chapter 2, that restarts the section count, which restarts the subsection count, etc. This goes all the way up to the top of the tree in the ancestry. If I want to limit that, I can use the from. Give me a count of sections and subjects, but stop looking when you hit the chapter. So don't go up beyond the chapter. So every time I hit a new chapter, it restarts the section counting at 1. Here are the diagrams for each of these approaches to the XSL number. First, level equals single. Remember my drawing convention of the thick line circle at the current node. Here I am in my tree, and I see all of the elements in my tree are named A, B, C, D, E, and F, and G. Yep, those are all found in the tree. Well, here I am at a node named E, and I'm asking the processor count at count nodes named B. Well, the processor walks up the tree, hits the B, that is what's being counted, and it does a level equals single at that B. And I am only counting Bs, and I see it's the third B, so three is added to the result tree. Level equals any. From my current node, I am counting Bs. I am not limiting this with a from. And so I'm counting all of the ancestors and the preceding nodes counting the Bs. Notice in this contrived tree that these two Bs are not being counted because they come after the E. They are in the following axis. They are not in my ancestry and they're not in the preceding axis. So let's now count Bs at any level. And I see one, two, three, four, five, six. So six nodes are added to, uh, the number six, excuse me, the number six is added to the result tree. This is just saying, add this number counted this way to the result tree. Level equals multiple. I'm walking down the ancestry. I'm walking down the ancestry looking for items being counted, and whenever I hit an item being counted, I do a level equals single at that level. If I hit an item that is not being counted, I do nothing. So, working down, let's count B, C's, D's, and G's at a multiple level. 
Is A being counted? It is not. Nothing gets added to the result. Is C being counted? Yes, it is being counted. So, I will now do a level equals single for this C. And I see that 1, 2, 3 is the answer because three of, uh, of these nodes, all three are being counted. This one's not included in the count because it's coming after. At a level equals single amongst the siblings, this is the third thing being counted. So the digit 3 gets added to the result. Is D being counted? Yes, it is. So let's count amongst the siblings. This is not a sibling over here. Let's just count the siblings at a level equals single, and I have two things being counted. Well, the format token is showing a dash between digits. So the processor adds a dash and then adds the two for here. So we're now up to the two. Is F being counted? It is not being counted. Nothing gets added to the result. Is B being counted? Yes, it is. So let's count all of the things being counted for B. One, let's see, F is not being counted. Two, G is being counted. Three, four. So this is the fourth thing being counted at a level equal single. The dash is being used. I put a dash and four, and I'm now finished. I have, uh, E is not being counted in the count, so there's nothing more to add, and that string has been added to the result tree. Let's do a level equals multiple, but now add a from. It goes up the tree, finding the closest ancestral from, which is C, and begins down the tree below that ancestor. So, I'm now counting the same B, C, D, and G, but I'm starting from here. Is D being counted? Yes, it is. That's triggering an, uh, a level equals single. In the level equals single, B's and D's are being counted, so a 2 is added to the result tree. Is F being counted? No. Is B being counted? Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4 things are being counted here, and so 4 is to be added to the result tree. I see that there is no format token the default token in a level equals multiple is a dot. So the processor adds a dot and then adds the four. E is not being counted. We are finished. And so only 2.4 gets added to the result.